What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Polly C, coming at you with another episode of Carpet Guys Vlogs. And in today's video, I'll be doing a living room, dining room, a set of stairs, a hallway, and two bedrooms, utilizing the Orbot Vibe. Killer, killer floor machine. Can't say enough about it. If I had my choice of all the machines, it's going to be the Orbot Vibe. Incredible. Look at these filthy stairs. We're going to hit that with an Auric Orbiter. We're going to dual pad it so we get as much soil out as possible. Look at those dirty, filthy lines where the rug was rolled up. Keep that in mind so at the end of the video when you see the progress that I made, you will see that we did amazing work. I have my wonderful wife helping me out today. She's pre-vacuumed all these rooms. I'll be pre-spraying with Green Dragon, used at two ounces per gallon. I did add two ounces of the CLO2, the Odor Death, as there was a slight odor in this home. I'll pull that in. I usually put a couple ounces of CLO2 or the odor death in every application. I usually just don't mention it, but the deodorization is included. And of course the uh, awesome end cap or the green dragon dries down to a brittle crystal, no residue, and it does leave a form of anti-resoiling agent behind. So you can pretty much call that the protection. There is the micro thins and the glad pad. I am going to be dual processing this, so I will be pre-scrubbing with the microthin after I pre-spray, and then I'll go back over it and mop it all up with a glad pad, sure. and then I'll get another set of microthins and glad pads and go back over it again, because this is really really heavily soiled so once I break down the soil and the green dragon starts to do its job of emulsifying the soil and putting it in suspension ready for removal with the pad it is definitely going to require multiple extractions <clears throat> excuse me you'll see this is probably a 18 year old nylon carpet it is kind of a Saxony, it's medium pile, not too bad. It's in pretty good shape overall. These folks have been renting a machine at their local grocery store and dumping the product into the machine and steam cleaning it. And they said it's been taking two to three days to dry. I did ask them after you're done steam cleaning it, are you going back over it with just fresh water, maybe a little white distilled vinegar? to absorb up the solution that you're putting down and of course no the instructions do not say to do that that's the biggest problem with these self rentals or these Bissell machines home machines Walmart machines they add the solution the detergent to the machine and they clean it might look clean for a day but then that remaining product that's left on the floor the residue will dry and it will attract more dirt, dust, soil, grease. It'll do what it's supposed to do, except for you don't want it to do it while the carpets have been cleaned. So you want to make sure you rinse it out. I do not recommend those machines. They just don't have enough vacuum power to dry out the carpets. These carpets will be dry in one to three hours, low moisture. And you will see after I go over it multiple times, I'll show you all the pads at the end. And you'll see that it definitely needed the additional pad to absorb additional soil. And then I'll groom it with my rug renovator. That rug renovator is basically a brush. It has two sides, an aggressive side and a gentle side. I use the aggressive side, it does have wheels so it's easy to push back and forth and create those aesthetic triangles as well as a telescopic pole. The pole was purchased at Home Depot, it's a painter's pole. I think it extends out about 9 feet 
I always extend it out when I do have the room and I like to roll it out and put some really good triangles down. You'll see at the end of the video here. And again, with the Orbot Vibe, I've been asked a couple times, the, the way that an orbital machine works, if you look up the information online, it looks like it's spinning the pad slowly. It is spinning it at 80 revolutions per minute, or 80 RPM. That's the full circular revolution. However, it's got a 9 16th um, orbit, which means it is every 9 16th, it's just boom, boom, boom. It's just moving as if you were to be washing your car and you took a sponge. Instead of just spinning in a circle, you would actually kind of orbit your hand back and forth, in and out, back and forth. Same process happens with this special Orbot Vibe machine. And each one of those small orbots, or orbits, is about 1,700 revolutions per second within the small, uh, probably inch by inch, square space. So what that means in the cleaning world is it is actually rotating and scrubbing at a higher RPM each fiber in each section. Now, rotary is fine. They spin at 175 revolutions per minute, but they're spinning one direction. Now, when you're cleaning, they do get multiple sides. They work very well. You'll see me use my swirly. Um, I have just been testing and testing because I do love using the rotary and the tank, and I really wanted to just use that, but in my overall experience and my tests, I have come to a personal conclusion that any medium pile carpet cleans better faster and easier with the orbot and the orbital motion rather than the rotary <clears throat> again that's my my opinion um, depends on what you do and the experience and how long you've been doing it there's certain ways you know to improve your cleaning however that's my prognosis on it now when i do commercial jobs flat commercial carpet I think the rotary works better because it is spinning at 175 RPMs and you can go side to side, very simple, so like long hallways, back and forth. You'll see me, I have a big big commercial job coming up on the 26th and 27th of this month doing, uh, oh, I think it's about six, maybe 12,000 square foot of hallways and I do that every year. And then a month later, I'll be doing all the stairwells. So stay tuned for that. But you'll see me, I'll more than likely be using a rotary machine. And again, that is the microfiber thin pad. That thing scrubs like the Dickens. I love that thing. And there's a glad pad that is 100% cotton, which is going to absorb like crazy. So we stir up all the solution and get it all agitated in with the microfiber thin and then we extract it with an all cotton pad. And again, the Orbot Vibe has 10 inch wheels, a tilt back head. It's got the Orbot, it's or the orbital motion. It's got uh, a hookup for a tank and a spray system if you wanna do that. That's what the black button on the top is very easy little handle to move it up and down and it, you can see there is no kick no torque whatsoever it is as smooth as rocking a baby i can do this with one hand and you could do it with one hand my wife does it with one hand it doesn't uh, accidentally pull one direction with the wrong movement and hit the wall and you know that's again it's user error that was me with my swirly occasionally i'll be in a residential home i'm going side to side they call them swing machines and occasionally it will i'll turn it on and it will kind of pull one direction and bump right into the wall boards so i do carry a white paint stick in the van and a couple other various touch-up things just in case but that could happen with any machine I do recommend a 20 or 21 inch pad when it comes to the Orbot Vibe. And it is a 17 inch pad driver, but 
you want that a little bit of overhang so that you can get up against furniture and everything and get along the walls without uh, the machine touching the walls. And I am looking into where the Orbot Vibe, if you look on the bottom or right above the motor, where the handle is, you can see it has um, additional plugs, outlets. And I was thinking about putting a light kit on the machine and it could be an electrical one and I don't have to put a junction box or anything on it because it's already set up to plug it right in. So I could find me a little LED light, mount it to the front, run the wire back, maybe cut the wire down so it's not a long wire, make it about maybe two or three feet and then plug it into the unit. So let me know in the comments below what you think about that. Is that a good idea? Would you like to see that? Has anybody done that? The reason I would consider doing that is because I never plan on putting a pump on this, a sprayer, and I think that's what it's set up for. It does have, you can see the little side plates where you can add weights. I am considering uh, possibly doing that. So stay tuned for that, but the handle, the tilt head, everything is, I mean, if you look back at my videos and see my progression, you'll see that I've gone through a lot of machines and I've talked about things that I wish the machines would do and this one seems to do it all <clears throat> and it brings me to one point I get a lot of people that watch my channel and then they contact me and ask me about uh, you know the cigarette spray that I used the Zep spray or uh, when I did some spotting trying out the lemon ammonia or the uh, Otoban 3-in-1, uh, different things, uh, even as well as they comment or they, they text me or they uh, email me and say, hey, I'm curious about the washcloth that you're using with the Auric Orbiter. And what I have to do is let them know, if you scroll forward or click the filter for my newest videos, you want to be up to date. You want to see my progression because I don't want somebody jumping in the business because they watched a video from a couple years ago when I first got into VLM and grabbing an or Auric Orbiter and some washcloths and some Fabuloso and some ammonia. These are, th these are things that I did along the way. Can you do that? If you're just doing your own house, yeah, you could do it. Probably not gonna hurt anything. The ammonia is real pungent. I wouldn't recommend it for health reasons. Um, during that time, you know, ammonia is okay if you just use it as a spotter and you're not spraying a whole bunch of spots, but that ammonia is, I mean, it's pretty toxic for your lungs. If you've ever been around a maid service or someone who uses ammonia quite regularly, just listen to them. They sniff all the time, or sometimes they cough, you know, now watch, I'll end up coughing <laughs> in every video, but... <clears throat> see what I mean? But anyway, you'll see what I mean. Just listen carefully and you'll hear <laughs> constant, constant sniffing. They've done damage to the membranes in their nasal passage and their lungs and it does multiple damage. And I'm not harping on anybody, you know, hey, go with God, but go do what you want to do. Um, I'll give you my two cents on the subject. But anyway, learn with me but don't make the mistakes I made. So if you go through the older videos, you're gonna repeat all the mistakes I made. I do not use washcloths. <laughs> Can you? Yes. I do not use Fabuloso. I do not use ammonia. I came across ncapstore.com. Damon is fantastic. He's the owner. He never pushed any products on me, never anything. He even helped me find a used machine at one point and he was just simply a source of information he watched my videos and he gave me advice he even helped me to progress with the auric orbiter and suggested maybe we put together a package with the right pads the right chemicals because the pads that come with the auric orbiter they're like a two-way pad they're 50 50 and i've told people before they're polyester and cotton 
if you're cleaning with a 12 inch or a 13 inch cleaning surface which is the size of the pad it's a 12 inch driver <clears throat> excuse me then you're going to want as much absorption as possible so you want 100 percent cotton so you want glad pads or microfiber pads you don't want to go with a polyester blend why because now your 12 inch pad is basically half of it six inches is helping the machine spin or put less tension on the motor and the other six inches is the absorption part and again early days <clears throat> when i got into this i was under the impression you could take one pad and do a whole house that is absolutely disgusting if you see somebody using an orc orbiter and they do more than one room with a pad unless the carpets are pristine and clean but come on you've got to change the pads it gives vlm a bad name and i will say <clears throat> i stopped telling my customers that it's vlm i even took it off my website and i call it uh, just low moisture or i call it something else when i refer to these people and the reason being <clears throat> see now i'm coughing i gotta quit smoking that ammonia <laughs> but anyway um what was occurring was people were was looking up vlm and there's so many negative aspects that you can pull up if you pull it up on google you might get somebody else's youtube channel and you watch somebody that doesn't really do it at a professional level and they're just go you know they're just scrubbing the dirt into the carpet one pad whole house final product you know they don't even groom it they walk all over it hey thanks for watching no 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 no, no. and i'm not picking on anybody if you think i'm picking on you then maybe you got a problem but i'm not picking on any particular person so don't go there with me i don't even watch those channels anymore i used to watch multiple channels people chime in all the time and ask me about you know two or three different uh, channels and some of them have facebook pages I, I don't even go there okay i'm doing my own thing i'm not trying to sell you anything yes i tell you i get everything from ncap store because i do I use the products. They're affordable. They're cheap when you break down the dilution ratios. And that's the first thing people that are getting in business want to know. Hey, what did you use? Check out that uniform. <clears throat> My wife did those on her cricket machine. Excuse me. On her cricket machine. Oh, yeah. Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning. Look at that hat with the patch. Oh, yeah. Who's the boss? Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, check out these results. Got some shadowing in the rooms, but overall came out fantastic. They will dry even lighter. Look at that. Wait till we get downstairs and I show you the progress down there. Absolutely amazing. Let me get my wife to share a little bit of the stair action. I am using the Orb Auric Orbiter. I am going to use multiple pads. And by that, I mean I will do this first section of stairs, which is about eight steps, and the landing. I'll spray it, and I'm using a glad pad. This is a 13-inch glad pad. And then I will get a second fresh glad pad and go back upstairs and just do that eight stairs and the landing again. That's right, two full pads on half a staircase. Then I will get an additional two pads and I will do the remaining six steps, I think it is, and go completely down. And then I'll come up with a fresh pad and go over it. And at the end of the video, take a look at the smaller glad pads. You'll see it definitely needed it. Every time you do an additional pad, you're going to get wonderful results. So you'll see. Don't be afraid to do that. And I do see a lot of um, comments when it comes to the Auric Orbiter. I do use it for stairs. Occasionally, if I have a crystal clean unit, I'll use it throughout the house. It does take a lot longer because it's a smaller surface. 
I do use it when I do high-rise flat commercial carpet. You've seen me use it. Or I bring the swirly up if they have elevators. All right, let's take a look at the pad. Look at that. And this pad driver is from challengeropi.org. They refer to it as a 10 inch driver. It's made of wood. You can see it has Velcro on the bottom. The 10 inch is, it's a 10 inch cup because the Auric has a cup that it presses onto and that is 10 inches. But the surface of the pad driver is 12 inches. So don't be confused by that. I think they run about $42. I've had mine for two years. Uh, Challengeropi.org. Those guys are great. That guy is uh, all USA made. I think they're made out in Texas, if I'm not mistaken. All their products. Pretty good. You could refer to them. Uh, they do have, I think, some Auric pads, some... Uh, OP Challenger pads, which are similar to the Super Zorbs. I actually was given one for free. Look at these results. Oh, yeah. Anyway, sorry to ramble on. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you get something out of it. Bada boom, bada bang. Look at those pads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll show you one more shot. And then I'm off to my next job. I appreciate you joining me for another episode. Hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. I know I am. I'm going fishing on Sunday with my wife. I'll see you in my next episode.